AT&T just launched HBO Max, its third, fourth, sixth, seventh video streaming service in the last few years. It's getting complicated. Hi, I'm Andy with the Mobile Internet Resource Center. Today, AT&T did launch the much-anticipated HBO Max streaming service, the newest and latest and greatest streaming service offered by AT&T. Now, what makes this service different than the previous offerings is that it's not going to just be HBO content. It's also going to include some unique content to the HBO Max platform. This is going to include exclusive content created specifically for HBO Max. It's also going to include the entire Warner Media Library, which AT&T also owns. And finally, it's going to include some licensed content of famous and popular TV shows like Friends and The Big Bang Theory. AT&T has had several failures with streaming over the years, and they hope that HBO Max will be the big hit and be able to compete with the likes of Netflix and Disney Plus in the streaming and exclusive content media space. So how can you get HBO Max? Well, there are a variety of ways to do it. The most easy and obvious way is just to go to the HBO Max website, agree to pay $14.99 a month, and sign up for the service. However, if you're already subscribed to a, either a cable TV, satellite TV, or a streaming service provider, and you have HBO through that provider, you may already be able to get HBO Max. Additionally, since HBO is owned by AT&T, AT&T services may qualify for a free HBO Max subscription. Now, particularly with wireless services, uh, any plan, any wireless plan in the last several years that has included free HBO as a benefit is eligible to get free HBO Max. Now you may have to uh, jump through some hoops to get that uh, signed up, but every plan that offered free HBO does get that benefit. Now these plans include legacy plans as well as one new plan. The only currently available plan that you can get today that includes the free HBO is the postpaid top tier smartphone plan called Unlimited Elite. Uh, the other smart plan, smartphone plans from AT&T do not include HBO. A full list of the eligible plans is in a AT&T support article linked in the description below. Um, now, once you know you can get free HBO through your wireless plan, then you need to know how to actually uh, be able to access the content on the app. And that's a little bit tricky. AT&T has made things confusing. So for wireless customers, uh, you generally will need to set up an AT&T TV account using your wireless account information. And then you can go to the HBO Max app and log in using your AT&T TV account information. And that will give you access to the HBO Max content. Again, there is a uh, AT&T support article describing how this works uh, in the description below. But for those who already had HBO set up and were using the HBO Now app, uh, when you log in today and look at your HBO Now app, you'll see it's been replaced and it's now called the HBO Max app. So there is no longer an HBO Now app for iOS and Android. Uh, that has been replaced by the HBO Max app. If you already had that set up with your HBO, all your account information and subscriptions will flow over to the new app and you won't have any problems. Um, now, a couple of nice things about the, uh, the new upgraded HBO Max app is that it does support HDMI screen mirroring. This means that you can get an adapter to hook to your phone or tablet, iOS or Android, and then you hook an HDMI cable into that and then the HDMI cable into a TV set or a larger display. And then you can mirror your uh, TV watching to that bigger screen. The advantage of this for mobile internet users 
is that uses your device's on-device data and it does not use your tethering or hotspot data. That's a really big advantage considering most plans today have big limits on tethering and hotspots. Uh, the other nice thing about this app is that you can download content onto your device and save it for later watching offline. Uh, you can do this in two ways. You can download the high-res content, which takes more space and more bandwidth, or you can download a lower-res version, which is faster and will take less space on your device. Finally, it's worth noting that content for HBO Max can only be accessed through an HBO Max app. Right now, the Max app is not available for all devices out there, such as Roku's. Um, but the Max content cannot be accessed from any of the other AT&T or HBO apps. For example, there's the HBO Go app that will only show HBO content it will not show the Max content, which includes all the original programming, the Warner Media Library, and uh, the licensed TV shows such as Friends and Big Bang Theory. The same goes with uh, other streaming services where you might have HBO like uh, Xfinity or AT&T TV. Uh, those services you will only be able to get the regular HBO. You're going to have to use, at least for now, the HBO Max app in order to get that extra Max content. Thanks for listening. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.